Hi guys, happy whatever day of Vlogmas this is. I keep on forgetting what day we're on, but I think it's day 10. But it's in the title, so you'll know. You'll see. But anyways, it's already late in the day right now, and I'm down in my salon. And I just came home from a hair appointment, which I didn't record because this client, she's grieving right now. She lost her husband a couple months ago, so whenever I go over, all she wants to do is talk about him and about life in general, because she's in the house by herself, so... I like being that listening ear that she needs right now, so there's no way I'm going to be like, anyway, it wouldn't be my YouTube video. So yeah, so I'm unpacking from that appointment right now, and then I'm going to repack because I have another appointment to go to a little bit later. And I'll be honest, I don't really feel like working or doing anything today because I'm not really feeling too well. I'm not sick or anything, I'm just feeling like kind of crampy and achy, and I just want to stay in bed all day, but I can't. Because the show must go on, so it is what it is. So yeah, I have another appointment, which is really simple. I'm just doing two braids on a guy. And then after that, I might be hanging out with my friend Stefan. And if I do, I'll put him in this video. Because the last time he was in my video, it seems like everybody liked him a lot. So I'll vlog with him again. And then after that, I'm going to dance. So that is how my day is going to be. Why are you doing this again? <laughs> you gotta say stuff. Oh no! No, the we desperately us. don't. Oh yeah. yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Yeah, not it's my awkward. scratchy beard and. What's wrong with your beard? It's yo. You didn't notice how like no. patchy it looked in your last video. No. Like oh. you should have did your boy some favors and darkened it up and the editing. Can you do that? No. <laughs> Take a Photoshop class, Kelsey. That is so much work. For my pride. Oh, don't do that. That's okay. I, the YouTube viewers know how ugly that pop face was. I don't know why she falls for stuff like that. It's actually kind of sad. Are, are you not going to say what we're doing? I don't know what to say. Don't hey, what's up, y'all? We're eating ice cream. Well, actually, Kelsey's eating my ice cream. Because I finished mine and I was sad. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like that. Y'all know. I'm so sad. Or maybe you don't? I don't know. <laughs> Kelsey can't be the only ice cream fiend. Y'all know. Y'all know. I believe in you. <laughs> Specifically you. Yeah, you know who you are. <laughs> I love ice cream. And I haven't had it in so long. Because I've been being so good. Yes, because, you know, sometimes when you get older, things happen. What? <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like I feel like I'm giving your YouTube video, uh, your YouTube video, your YouTube viewers the talk. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 15 viewers. Uh, you know, your body is going through some changes and... No, what? No, you need no, no. <laughs> First of all, stop pointing out how I have no viewers, okay? I'm talking about hello, 15 viewers. I could get 20 on this video, you never know. Maybe if she really works hard, she'll get 30. <laughs> I'm small. It's okay. Everyone is when they start out. Mm -hmm. But kudos to you, because you're watching this. And that means something. I appreciate you. I don't. You're not watching it for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just here. I think you add a flare to my video. Pizzazz. Yeah. 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 So if you want to just add a sparkle right there when I do that, that'll be a good edit. Maybe I'm not like gonna edit. I don't know if I could do all that. I do like a zoom, like. The, or, or you could just keep that in there like that and just make me look stupid. Yeah, you have to do that. See this? What y'all don't know is that she's mean. I'm not mean. You call on the phone, she never call me back. Are you offering me ice cream? No, I'm showing it's you dark. that it's empty. Do you want to go get more? I do. I'm ashamed to go back in the drive-thru. 
wonder how much of this I'm gonna keep because this is long. Yeah, there's no way you can keep all five minutes. Wow, five minutes. I'm cold. Oh, it's oh. warmth. Oh my god. Wait, how? It, it wasn't real. <laughs> it was spiritual. <laughs> <warmth>. <laughs> You gotta keep that in. You really tried to warm your hands by my head. I thought you were giving me oh, like you're man. gonna hold my you hands. Really, and you really own. believe See, me. See, I thought it was whether you're only gonna use one hand. Ooh, that was funny. Yeah. I have a lot of editing to do. I'm like four days behind. Because yeah. it's today the 10th. You say that on like most of your videos. Yeah. Yeah, I have like three. Ugh, I'm so tired. And then the one where you're just like, I just got out the shower and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> like that had to be in there. You just had to excuse. No, I'm gone. I'm going to bed. <laughs> because I already said I was gonna edit it after the shower, and I'm like, no, I'm not. I don't want to lie. <laughs> I got out the shower. I'm going to bed. Good night. I was nice. I said good night. <laughs> what if they were watching in the morning? Oh, <laughs> mind blow. Yeah, they got it. Okay, I, I need to stop this. It's way too long. You're waiting for me to do something like to end it on, but I'm not gonna. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> I'm propping you guys up on my stuffed dog right now, so hopefully you guys don't fall over and hurt yourself. But I just wanted to end off today's vlog, and I feel like I missed out on so many content opportunities. But like I said, I didn't want to record my first client because I just felt like that would have been a little insensitive. And then my second client. I didn't record it because I was just so annoyed while I was there. So, if I could rant for a second. As you guys know, or might know, I'm a mobile hairdresser. I do braids at people's houses. And sometimes I get these clients who kind of take advantage of that. So I feel like some people don't understand that just because I'm at your house and it's the comfort of your own home and everything, it doesn't mean that I'm just going to be available for you all day long. The only convenience of me doing your hair at your house is that I am doing your hair at your house. It doesn't mean that you can just play around with my time and just be ready when you feel like it. Like, no, it doesn't work that way. So I get to his house and he's still trying to figure out where he wants to set up to get his hair done. Then he wants to sit down for two seconds and get up because he needs a phone charger. Then he wants to get a computer so his kids could watch some TV. Then he wants to get a drink. Then that drink was too warm so he had to go and get a cup of ice. Like... And all he was getting was two braids. I was blowing his hair out and then putting two braids in it. I shouldn't have been there for longer than a half hour. and Like, at most. At one point, I had to be like, look, I have somewhere else to be after this. I can't just stay here all day. Because he needed to understand that I'm not just waiting around for you all day. If I'm coming to your house for a 3 o'clock appointment and I'm there at 3 o'clock and you're not ready to get your hair done when I get there, that's the same thing as you being late for an appointment in a shop. You know what I'm saying? Like, either way, you're taking advantage of my time, you're wasting my time, you're not valuing my time, and that's not fair to me. So, yeah, I was just really, really irritated because I shouldn't have been there. I was there for about an hour to put two braids in his head. And every time he got up, it was something that he could have waited for. Like, it takes me, like, ten minutes to do two braids. Like, come on. Come on. And what annoyed me the most was, so apparently his left side is more tender than his right side, so he asked me to breathe his right side first so he can prepare himself to get the left side. You know, I didn't think anything of it or whatever, but then when I'm about to go to his left braid, he gets up, and I'm thinking he's going to the bathroom or whatever, and he goes into the next room for a few minutes, and then he comes back reeking of weed. So he had to go to smoke and calm himself down for the second braid. And don't get me wrong, like, if you're into that, that's you. It's whatever. But don't do that on my time. Why am I waiting for you to do that so I can put your second braid in your head? And I hate that smell. Like, I almost passed out when it hit me in the face. Even though I had a mask on, I felt like I was breathing it in. Like, I was getting high just standing right next to him. It was disgusting. But I was just more annoyed that you really left to go and do that. And I'm sitting here, standing here, waiting to finish your hair. So by the time I was done with that appointment, I was just like, just getting my money. I'm out of here. Because I was just so irritated. Because I can't stand when people do that. And I mentioned this in a video before when I was talking about being a mental, um, mobile hairdresser. That sometimes people just take advantage and just assume that all of my time is their time. And I'm just waiting on them all day and that's okay. They assume that they're my only client. They assume that I have nothing else to do for the day. They just think that you're at my house. So that means... 
when I'm ready, you'll be there and that's all I need. Like, no. Appointments still work the same way. I still only allowed a certain amount of time to be here. I'm not going past that. So if you're not ready when I get here, I don't have to finish this appointment. Because I didn't allow a whole hour to do two braids. So anyway, that's why I didn't record that section of my day. And then the only other thing I did was dance. It was a very, very easy night. I didn't add a lot of choreography, so I had nothing to record. So anyway, that's my day. So that's why this video so, eh. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I shouldn't have even bothered vlogging today, but I'm trying to keep up with this vlogmas trend because I just want to do it. I just want to say that I actually did it at the end of the month. But I'm going to go to bed now. And that is it for tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me if you watch the whole thing. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>